Hello and welcome. Before we talk about uh, the proximity switches in detail, we need to to set some 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 names uh, to understand some names. There are usually there are usually some names which do refer to all of these things. Yeah. So there's the switching distance. Schaltabstand. This means here we have this proximity switch, yeah, and here we have the thing we want to see. Okay, how much or how far must these two things be separated? Yeah, how far yeah? is this? There's the nominal as n switching distance. Okay, there's the nominal switching distance, and so we will not choose the nominal switching which is we will not choose the nominal switching distance of course because that's actually the standard one or that this is one which is guaranteed we are using let's say something between well 0 0 and let's say 80% yeah usually half i would adjust it yeah if this has a switching distance of let's say 4 mm adjust the gap to 2 millimeters, then it's switching for sure. Yeah. Depending on the function of this of this uh, proximity switch, there might be differences in the material and so on. We'll talk about this. That's the switching distance. Okay. Switching distance. Then there is something called reproducibility. Reproducibility. Reproducibility, reproduce. Am I missing a e? No, reproducibility. Huh? This means if I switch two times, yeah, is there any difference between the two switching? Yeah. Is there how accurate are those two? Wiederholgenauigkeit, Reproduzierbarkeit in German. Repeating, how accurate is this repeating, this switching? Okay, then there's a hysteresis, switch hysteresis, switching hysteresis. Switching hysteresis. This means here we're getting closer, 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 closer. Switch on. Yeah. Then we're pulling away, we're pulling away. Book. And suddenly it switches off, but we need to pull away a little bit. We need a little bit to pull away, and this is this hysteresis, the switching hysteresis. Okay, it is not switching on and off at exactly the same point. This would be awful, right? because then it would, if it's then on the right distance, it would constantly switch on and off, on and off, off. Then we have bouncing as well here. Yeah? And then there is the switching. Frequency. This says how much per second can I switch on and off this sensor? Yeah? How often can this be switched on and off? Simply. Yeah? This is with a pulse width of 1 to 2. Yeah? So there's an impulse. And two times longer, there's the pause. Yeah. So this is this is one, and this is two, or whatever this means. Yeah. And here, in total, we do have the period, and this is ans one divided by f, okay. the frequency. How high can this frequency be that the switching still can be seen here? These are mechanical topics. These are the mechanical parts. Then we talk about electrical topics. Electrical topics, that's the operating voltage. Of course, you cannot switch 10,000 volts. 
those proximity switches do have an operating voltage. It's usually a range, yeah? let's say 6 to 36 volts or something, but don't exceed it. Okay? And there is something like a minimum load and a maximum load. Minimum and maximum load, this means usually very often there are three wire configurations. Okay, so there is the there is the switch, yeah. There are the three connectors. Yeah. There's plus and minus or ground. Yeah, I call it ground. Yeah. Here in between is the operating voltage, must be in a specific range, and then there is the signal. Yeah. And the signal S needs to have here a current running out. Yeah. There's a minimum current that the switching internally is operating, functioning, and there's a maximum current that's exactly this. Yeah. Then we do have the voltage drop. Okay. Voltage drop. This means, if we supply here this with VCC, we get here VCC minus a drop voltage. Okay, so this switch, there is a voltage drop, simply. Yeah. So this is the drop on the activated sensor, the voltage drop at the activated sensor. Okay. Then, there is the, the there is the current consumption. What is the current consumption? Even if the even if the sensor is not switched on, it will use some current here. Yeah? If it's not switched on, there is nothing coming back. It will use current for self. Well, it will simply have to supply itself. It has to be supplied. And this is the current consumption. Or, or power consumption. Or, or blank power consumption. Empty power consumption. Something like this. Yeah, or, uh, yeah. The power consumption on its own. Current of power consumption. Yeah. And then there's something that it might be short circuit proof. Short circuit proof. circuit proof. What does it mean? Even if I have here a contact between S and uh, signal and ground, yeah, it will not matter. Yeah. It's proof. Yeah. It's not bulletproof, it's short circuit proof. Then it will limit the current by itself. Even with the highest possible supply voltage. Okay. So these are the electrical Electrical characteristics. Okay. What is also different are the output things. Here I have something which is very common. Yeah. These are DC sensor. This is a DC sensor. Four wire. Yeah. Then there is the possibility of a two wire signal. Yeah. There is the sensor. Zack, zack. It does have here plus, and it does have here minus, okay. and that's it. This is a so-called Namur. Yeah, this is a DC sensor. DC sensor, two wire, or so-called Namur. Namur Switch. Norm Arbeitsgemeinschaft für Mess- und Regeltechnik der chemischen Industrie. This is the acronym. Okay. Just for your information. Namur. This 
Name, dieses Switching, dieses Switching to Current Signals. Yeah. A small current, if it's not, I'm not sure. Yeah, a small and a big current, one is if it's activated, one is if not activated, then you have a special a special uh, analyzing tool. Yeah? You can you cannot just here you can just put a load on it, yeah? a relay or something else. In Nama you have some Auswertegerät, some evaluation unit in English. Yeah? You need it. Yeah? And this evaluation unit is then making contact or not. Nama. However, these things can watch itself. Yeah? So since there is two types of current, it there uh, you can also get uh, or see a wire break can be analyzed, and even a short circuit can also be analyzed because then it's too much current. Okay. So the, those things, they do they have benefits? Sometimes we do have even a fourth here, a fourth signal. Usually one is a normally open and one is a normally closed contact. Yeah? This, but it, oh, I've written here four wire, three wire, of course. Sorry, sorry for that. In four wire, in four wire, this would be normally open and normally closed. In three wire, it's either that or this. Yeah? We have to look in the data sheet. Okay. Now, there is only also a difference between the so-called PNP and the NPN technique. Yeah? This is positive switching, this is negative switching. What does it mean? A PNP and an NPN sensor. I will use the three wire connection. I will use the three wire connection. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. There is the plus line. There's the ground line. And then there is the signal line. Okay. Signal line just as above. Yeah. Where to put the load? Here. And positive switching, it means it switches to positive. I have to put my load here. Yeah. So this might be a relay or something else, or an input of an uh, a PLC, yeah, and an NPN. This is switching from positive to negative. Yeah, so I have to put my load here yeah. from positive to the signal. Whenever it's switched, this will be activated. Here, whenever it's switched, this will be activated as well. Yeah. So, do you have to take care? In PNP technology, you have to connect between S and ground. In NPN technology, you have to connect between plus and signal. Okay. Then the signal is getting the ground for the load. So, these are, these are the terms, let's say. Yeah, the names, it's just naming. But when I'm explaining afterwards, the, the, in the next videos, I will explain the proximity switches. Yeah? And then I will use those names. I will use those names. And then you have to know what, what I'm talking about. Yeah? This is then next video. For this video, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.